mozzarella sticks so you will need some breadcrumbs and I'm using Italian breadcrumbs you'll need three eggs some all-purpose flour some Parmesan cheese shredded or grated or however you like it some heavy cream and some salt and pepper I also have my baking sheet my regular cookie sheet lined with parchment paper to put our mozzarella sticks on and our last ingredient that you will need is our 16 ounce cube of mozzarella cheese. Not the buffalo mozzarella that we all like to eat, but either the 16 ounce cube or you can even buy those string cheese. So the first step in order to make our mozzarella sticks is you're gonna take your mozzarella cheese cube and you're just going to cut it in I would say probably about half inch slices like this. And we're going to start making our mozzarella sticks like this. So you have this, don't worry, we'll be cutting that after. So let me just cut all of this up. And then you'll take each one and you're going to cut it in half horizontally. So this is basically one of our little mozzarella sticks. So you just do this to all of them. So now we're going to take our three eggs and we'll add our heavy cream to our three eggs that heavy cream and then we're going to add just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper, black pepper I'm using. You don't want to add too much salt because there's, the cheese is already salty and the breadcrumbs are salty. It's just not good to have too much sodium and then you're just going to whisk this mixture up. So I have my eggs all beaded up and the next step we're going to tend to our flour so we're just going to add just and again, a little bit of salt, add a little bit of pepper, just toss this to mix it all together. And now for our final part, we're going to add our, we're going to tend to our breadcrumbs, and we'll add just a little bit of some Parmesan cheese. I'm using shredded, and then some salt, not a lot, and some pepper. going to take each of our mozzarella sticks and here's the trick so we're going we have our flour our egg mixture and our breadcrumbs do it in this order it's the easiest so first you're going to dip your mozzarella stick in your flour lightly coat it with this done with that now it goes to the egg mixture and this is your wet hand and this is your dry hand so take your wet hand and coat that in the egg mixture then Put it in your breadcrumb mixture, take it with your dry hand, toss that in there. Be generous with your uh, breadcrumbs because we need that thick outside for each mozzarella stick so the mozzarella doesn't ooze out. You don't want that to happen. Then, here's the final part. This is the trickiest part and this is, well it's not tricky, but this is the most important part and it's essential for the mozzarella sticks to come out really good. So you're going to take your breadcrumb mozzarella stick and put it back in your egg mixture. And you're going to toss it in your egg mixture. Then you're going to put it back in your Italian breadcrumbs and toss that. Because we, as I said, we really want that double coat for each mozzarella stick so the mozzarella doesn't ooze out. And finally, with our lined cookie sheet on hand, we'll just put this right on there and you have one done so 
keep doing this to all of ours, keeping in mind that this is the wet hand and this is the dry hand. So let's keep doing it. parchment paper and right now what we're going to do is we're just going to pop these in the freezer for I would say about a half an hour to an hour just until they all kind of you know are packed together enough so that when we fry them they won't fall apart so I'm just going to put them in the freezer and I'll get back to you guys before we fry them Okay, so our mozzarella after about 45 minutes, I would say, they're all done cooling. And right now I have my pot heated up with some canola oil in it. You can use vegetable also, but I'm using canola oil. And it's all heated up to about, I would say, 300 degrees. So now we're just going to take our mozzarella sticks and just drop them in the oil and cook them until they're golden brown on the outside. You'll know when they're done. Okay, so we're back after we fried all of our mozzarella sticks in our pan, and now it's time for the taste test. You know this is my favorite part. So I have a little bit of marinara sauce on the side because that's what I like my mozzarella sticks with. Look at, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is, couldn't have come out more perfect, so let's just dip in. Mmm, it's so good. It's crispy on the outside, but the cheese has melted fully on the inside, so it's nice and gooey. Just how mozzarella sticks should be. Let's give us one more bite. But I have one announcement before I go. No, the shout out for the comments is no longer that I annulled that rule. So if you comment on one of my videos, you will not get a shout out. But if you subscribe to my channel, you will get a shout out. Remember to keep your subscriptions public. That way I can see if you subscribe and you will get a shout out. So, until next time on Anessa's Crazy Cooking, you better try these mozzarella sticks and I'll see you next time. But don't be afraid to get crazy in the kitchen. Bye!